All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have the lovely Gera today, and what we're going to be doing is how to Gera. So we'll start with her abilities. Her first is either a sweep or a straight attack. Pretty straightforward. Her sweep, nice, but I never really use it. At this point in time, it does have a lot more range than most of the melee weapons, and you do get a very nice knockdown effect. So if now, I would use that a lot more if her 2 did not exist. Her 2 gives you damage reduction as well as an AoE effect. It's definitely affected by range and can even blind certain enemies. They're about. I'm gonna get a little bit closer. That one's unaffected. Oh. And there you go. Her 2 can be refreshed by casting her her four. See how the timer restarted? Nice. I've got her modded for a lot of duration just because it makes her easier to play. And you can also blow up her four, which gives you a damage buff on her too. We'll get into, we'll come back to that. Her three mirrors. I can't get excited about this. Anytime I've seen someone use that to good effect, they should have just brought a better weapon. Quit leveling <laughs> the Furious against level hundreds. That's not. That's just not a good idea. <laughs> oh, so to highlight where we're going now and how to really build out Gara, because Gara, she doesn't really need strength. Now, probably a bunch of people are gonna yell at me and go, "You're wrong. You're that's terrible." So, well. We'll just bring these guys a little closer back from the edge. And I, these are Eximus. And I've and they're gonna die. Corpus are weak. Nothing new. So, we'll test against the bombard. See those numbers popping up? That's a 59, 59. Nothing too exciting. Pretty low. Now, we don't have a melee weapon equipped, and Gera, Gera, along with Atlas and Korra, are special cases. They require certain things. We're just going to start with an empty config. So I do have Steel Charge on, and I'm kind of going to highlight how Steel Charge affects stat sticks right now. So you hit an enemy, oh look! That's a 95. So Steel Charge does affect frames that take stat 6. Atlas, Korra, Gera. Now if pure damage affects it, we already know a Spoiled Strike affects it, and Pressure Point affects it, and we're just going to take all these off for now. Okay, grab some energy. Turn her splinter shield on, press her 4, and then we're going to go outside and break it. And our splinter shield just got a huge damage buff. So we are only doing a little bit before, and look at that. I'm just going to, I'm about to kill this thing just by walking at it. Again, corpus, there, there, chowder. Doing was that, we're doing plenty of damage. Over 2,000 to shields, 2,500 about. And now we're also going to cast her one again. That is 252. Quite a big jump over the initial 53 we got. Now, we're going to add some elementals. We're going to go with Toxin. And just kind of all the 90 mods. So. We don't care about the initial stats or modding this weapon, since it's a stat stick. We don't care about what the weapon is or anything like that. I'm, I'll come back to why we're using the mire. All we're doing is getting as much damage on here as possible. I 
some people like combo. I find when I play Gera, I never take the time to build combo, so I'm going to skip over that. You can replace one of these with combo, just like casual drifting contact, a lot less strain too. So if you want to get six strain, you can do that. It's perfectly fine. So we've got our four elementals on here. And let's see how it affects her splinter shield. That is 15k. And each time you cast, you get another 15k. You do have to be outside the shield. See if I just break it from the inside, it doesn't do anything. But we're still going places. We ain't done just yet. So, that's a casual 607, you know, 850. Well, depends where I hit him, but remember where we started? We're going places, guys. Just think of how well this scales. Now, we can. The Mire is a special weapon for two reasons. One, its rivens are dispo 5. This is a really bad ribbon. And it also has an augment. That's an extra 90 mod. That's a big increase. It's not as big as it could be, but it's definitely a big increase. Now, to highlight the riven change though, we're gonna go to something a little bit different. We're gonna go to the jaw sword. Now, notice an augment again, 100% melee damage. Again, this is stellar. Spoiled Strike goes on anything. You can replace this with another elemental. It's not as good, but it'll work. And it's pretty close, let's be honest. It is more drain, more forma. You guys know how it goes this way. Keep in mind, I have plenty of form on this. This is more when I was trying things out and doing some other things. I needed that. You do not need to form this much. And for new players, replace this with a normal vanilla prime pressure point. Don't worry about the augment. Grab this. You'll probably pick it up when trying to get the other corrupted mods from the orc and derelict. And then don't worry about it. Just don't worry about it. If you're new, don't worry about these two. Just use the normal ones. It's not that important. This is some min-max nonsense. The one thing you don't want to do on a stat stick is put on range or attack speed. They have absolutely no effect and do absolutely nothing. So... Thirty-two thousand. This is how you get. Her. You build your splinter shield. You nuke the whole map as you get the energy. And look at that. I'm at hundred k. That was what a few seconds. Watch what we do to these guys. They're level hundreds. I have absolutely no armor stripping going on. Keep in mind. I can buff higher. Get a hit in there. And so I'm doing 120k. Let's get another one. Oh, we got a few of them in there. So I'm going to show you something. Each of these enemies that are affected buff the strength of it. I should come out to about 150, you know? Hmm. 160. That's a lot more than we were expecting. If you find a mob and get them all in here, it's a free boost. You can also do that without a stat stick, but it's one of the reasons why Gera is such an amazing frame. She just never stops scaling. Everything about her is about the scaling. See, I'm just standing here. Not only do I have 90% damage reduction, I'm putting up a wall to prevent incoming fire. I've got 
a shield that goes out to 191,000 damage. And it's all because of the stat stick. The build, not too important. Gara comes with a V. I left her that way. It's easier that way. If you don't have flow or prime flow, just throw some efficiency on. It'll work out just the same. I know they're, both of these can be replaced. If you're wanting more strength, transient fortitude can be used. I wouldn't go blind rage because you need to chain your casting. You need to chain it a lot. And, uh, it just makes it hard. It makes it not fun to play. There's a lot of micromanaging there. And I like to be casual. Continuity will work just fine. This is just kind of a min-max. Now, narrow-minded. You can use, like, Augur Reach here and Augur Message. They're fine. Obviously, they're not as good. And you can also use different pips, different levels of pips. You don't have to go out to 10 pips. That's way too much endo. Way too many credits. I have too many hours into this game, so we'll just move on past that. But again, you do not need to max out these mods. You do not need to use the variant versions. You can just use the normal ones, or whatever you have. We'll also, since we mentioned augments, let's bring up hers. None of them really stand out. This one, so they give more energy. If that's a concern for you, go ahead. This one, it's all right. Again, it's not, I didn't have any problems surviving. As soon as you turn on this, you got 90% damage reduction. 90% there's I mean do you really need health on top of that if you do okay go for it that's fine there's nothing wrong there it can also be cast on allies to give them the 90% damage reduction it's hard to get the damage buff onto them just because it doesn't quite refresh the same just by casting four won't recast it again her one Excellent description, although it looks like they broke the video. Oh, there we go. So, again, I have it mod for range just for this. All my range is about this. And it's the radius, the 4.23. Pretty small. You could go more, but I like this build as kind of a rounding it out. It's very easy, very laid back, and I can keep it up for an hour or so even two hours. It's not a big deal. Again, I just... That's what it does. They attack them. Not great, especially since it affects enemies inside it only. You have to find everyone. You have to find a group of mob and then drop it. Otherwise, it's, it doesn't do anything. You're casting to one enemy why are you casting on one enemy when you can just run through them and kill them? We'll also cover this just briefly. Again, there you can see the stats. Scales with strength. Most of her abilities do. And yeah, that covers everything you need to know about Gara. We also got stat sticks in there. Um, go ahead and ignore the arcanes. Again, you can drop both of these. You don't need these at all. They're not required. I have them, so I use them. But thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you next time.